What's up, everybody? Welcome back to BGG Plays Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. My name is Barry Courtney. Here, join with me for this entire week. This, uh, this being the the last, um, the last day of the week, Friday. Friday. Uh, is Alyssa Shimoda. What's up, Alyssa? How are you doing today? Good. I, I I know it's weird that I ask you that like five times in a row, but we have to hide the illusion that we record all of these at once. It's Friday. Friday. Gotta go down on Friday. True. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Oh shit. Um. So today is all right. May fifth. Let, let me let me let me pause real quick. Let me pull up my calendar. Today is May sixth. And here's some crazy shit. Here's some crazy shit. Not even talk about the crazy shit you're thinking of. Uncharted four. That's relevant. To me comes out in four days guys ah, four days ah, the final chapter of uncharted will we find out who nathan drake really is will someone important really die because you know sully quote unquote dies like 17 times throughout these like three games will elena have a child who knows who the oh, fuck God. knows is nathan's quote unquote brother really his brother is Nathan Drake? Francis Drake ended? I think I already asked that one. I'm not too sure anymore. No, you said, are we going to find out who he really is? Oh, yeah. And well, I'm that's sort of like the same. Clarifying it okay. with uh, I'll, more detail. Okay. Because I want to know specifically, is he Actually a descendant? Because I thought the whole thing about this whole thing was that he was a descendant. Was yeah, I don't pointless. know. Well, he could just be like a really huge, like... <clears throat> Fan, fan you know oh i can throw back grenades fuck yeah it's this one see henry was telling me henry was like no you can't do that in uncharted at all but you know what henry fuck you you're wrong henry it's this one it's this one i can finally do it oh shit got him um so yeah uncharted 4 comes out in four days but you know what's out today Alyssa? i do Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, do you? I Fuck. do know. So here's the thing. We're recording. We're, we're sitting on our couch bed, our lovely couch bed that I put together. Um, <sighs> And our cat is laying on my legs, right? Yeah. Right. Um, oh, He's shit. So happy. He's very happy right now. My leg is very, very not, not happy, happy right now. <laughs> so I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to move my oh, leg. He's gonna be so mad. He's gonna be really pissed at me. So. Oh. Or he's just not gonna let you do it. Oh. Uh, he does that too. That Sometimes felt he kind awesome. of does the dead weight thing. Just sits there with you <sighs> for a long time. So, Alyssa, what's out today? Civil War. Captain America: Civil War. Captain Are you America excited? Civil War. I'm super excited. I, I believe if 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 everything goes according to plan, which you know here at BTG, it, it almost never does. Um. Okay, Dully's still hiding around, so I'm guessing enemies are still around. Um, if everything goes well, I believe you and I are actually going to be reviewing this. I hope so. Yes. We got to just make sure the review is less than 25 minutes. Okay. Which okay. hopefully will happen. Hopefully it's, my hopefully it's not as bad as Batman v Superman, so we don't have to, like, unfold a lot of bullshit. Yeah. And hopefully it's not, like, <clears throat> I don't want to say hopefully it's not like super great that we have to unfold a lot of shit. I hope it's amazing. And I'm sure it will be. Yes. Marvel um, doesn't usually disappoint. Yeah. Um, I was telling my friend, I can't believe we're at the time where it finally comes out. Because I remember when it was like announced, oh, it's going to be Civil War. And I was like, oh, that's so long away. That's like two whole years. That's never going to happen, you know? I, th I still say my proudest moment was... Vinny Valentini, friend of the show. Yes. Him and I went to go see Captain America, the first Avenger. And he was really upset. Why do you think he was upset? He he because is actually Bucky a really, died. He is actually a really big Captain America fan. Read a lot of like the original Captain America comics that came out. Uh so yes, he's upset that Bucky, Bucky died. Because he the was first like movie. And yeah, because he was like, they barely built up their relationship at all. He died at the wrong time. Blah 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 blah. I was he like, died too soon. 
And right when we left the theater, he's talking about all these things, right? And I said, Vinny, don't worry. Next movie, they're doing Civil War, uh, not Civil War, but Winter Soldier. And sure as shit. You were right. I he did say that. He fucking... gloated about it for a very long time. Then it happened, and he was right. He was insufferable. That's not true. I just that's my. Like I that's like, say that. But you know what? That's my one, co- like, Colin Moriarty. <laughs> no, but Moriarty. you were insufferable. I just. Colin Moriarty ah, always, has, always has his sort of, like, I'm right. Colin was right moments. That was my one. I get one, okay? No, you get two. Because you were also right about Civil War. I was right about Civil War. I had my doubts. But I was, I was sort of wrong. I was, I was half right about Civil it. War. Because I thought Civil War was going to be Avengers 3. That's right. That would have made up, more sense. It would have been made more sense. I do not sense. like that it's Captain America. It's a Captain America. But apparently, from what I've heard, is that they balance... Like, they make you... No, like, it is a well, like, it is a Captain America movie. Like, he doesn't get lost in all of, like, the, all of the know, other heroes. I know, but the thing is, it should really be an Avengers movie or something more it really should because open it's... because it's not just, I mean, at least he is one of the main characters, so I can see how they can swing it that way. Mm. But just in my mind of, like, logically, and it would be better because... Civil War has to do with everybody. And also, I was really against Civil War from the get-go because I was like, there's no way they can do this the right way and honor the fact that all of these people are in it because I did actually read... I did actually read this comic. Like, I don't often get to read comics yeah, you actually um, own all the way too. through, but this you one, the, like, the I went through a really there. hard effort of, like, finding it one summer and um, buying it and reading it. And then that was before I even knew that there was going to be a movie, the movie. Mm. So I was cool because I did that. It was before we met, actually. I picked that up. Yeah, I remember when we first met and I first went to your apartment and you actually owned it. I was like, oh, hey, Fred. Yeah, I know. Um, So I just, I was really against it at first because I was like, there's no way they can do this right because there's not rights to all the characters. And the best part about Civil War is that everybody is in it. That's the best part about that comic and seeing like everybody come together and ooh, I just and seeing, you know, Mr. Fantastic and I don't know. Yeah, I just I mentioned him because he's not going to be in this movie, which I'm really disappointed. Yeah, because he's actually a really big part. He's and a really big part of it. I if, if you want to um, talk, if you want to see more speculation of what's going to happen in Civil War, um, if you don't want any like actual like spoilers, I speculate about in the reaction to the Civil War trailer revealing Spider-Man, uh, the negative zone. I speculate about that a little bit because yeah. I think they actually might have their own version of the negative zone. Yeah. But in the comics, it's very much Fantastic Four or Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic is sort of like the start. brains uh, behind that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it will be interesting to see how they end up. Um... Yeah, I'm excited to see Black Panther. Yes, a lot of people really like Black Panther. A lot of people really like Spider-Man. So I'm really excited for that. All right, so let's one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Also, one, two, three, four. Sorry, this is one of the very few like really good puzzles of Uncharted. No, oh, it's so. okay. But speaking of superheroes, gets me rolling on X Men as well. Yeah, X Men's coming out as well, mm-hmm. and that's coming out actually the. End of May. Yes, and by that and time, we will have a you, full house. We will have a full house of people because, kind of funny live too. If you know us, if you know us at, here at BCG because of kind of funny, and you want to see X Men, well, guess what? 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 Friday, May twenty seventh, we're doing a kind of funny best friend, uh, screening. Uh, not like a special screening or anything, but we're gonna be doing, fucking. Buying, buying X Men tickets, going to see an X Men. No confirmation of what theater we're going to. We're still trying to figure all this other stuff out. But just to let you know, we're planning on it. I'm part of the I'm part of the party planning committee. PCP. And uh, it's the PPC. Um, Stop it. No, what else will be really exciting about that date? I will uh, officially have finished my first your first year, year of, teaching. of teaching. Yeah, there you go. All by myself. All by yourself. How does it feel? How does it feel to be an actual adult? I don't want to talk about it. It's not done yet. <laughs> oh, it's shit. So oh, sh- oh, God. Thanks. Fucking pooks. 
He's like, oh, running are you, are it, you running... sitting cross-legged again? Oh, are, are you recording stuff? Let me interrupt it. I put my paw right on... My, my paw goes on top. Oh, okay. Fine. Th thanks, Spooks. Thank you, Pookie. You're, he, You're he, welcome. If anybody is actually, like, watching all of these, they understand that Pookie is basically a character on, this, on these Let's Plays. Pookie is the prince. He's not a king. It's different because kings have responsibilities, they make choices, they are very I forgot uh, what I'm supposed wise, to do. and, you know, but Pookie is a prince. Well, he no, has... he's just, he's a character on this uh, on the Let's Play series, I know, series, but I'm you know? describing who Pookie is. Oh, just like sort of his care, like sort of he like a how he acts. He has no responsibilities, but he is the most important person. What the fuck am thing. I supposed to do here? Oh. And he gets what he wants. He does get what he wants. When he but wants you, it. But you know what? Even if it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Famous, <laughs> famous song by the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Can't always get what you want. <laughs> Yeah, he he likes to do this thing at four in the morning where he sits in the bathtub and he fucking meows like someone's killing him. Uh huh. But all he wants is water. <sighs> Man, we really got off topic here. X Men coming out. We're gonna go see it with a bunch of kind of funny best friends. Are you gonna go see it with us if you're in town? Yeah. 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 Cool. I do want really want to go see it. I just don't know what I'm doing with my life at that point. Because <laughs> you might be, you know, abandoning me to go. To At Harry this point, Potter. Probably not. It's probably too late for me to do something. I can't believe you would even th think about abandoning me to go do I Harry Potter you. Land I without me. I love you. I, I I know, but but do you? I do. Okay. Oh God. It's because I'm extremely desperate to like do something with um my kid cousins. Oh, are these the ones from Seattle? Yes. Okay. Because every time we go to Disneyland, I'm like, man, this would be super fun if I could do it with my cousins. Mm. This would be awesome. And it's not something that has ever presented itself. And it feels like something that may not ever present itself. So when there was the slight chance, when I asked them if they wanted to do it and they said yes, that it might happen, I kind of was like really pushing for it to happen just because I don't know when or if it'll happen again. Mm -hmm. Well, just do Disneyland, not Harry Potter Land. Yeah, but Margot said she would make me a cloak. <laughs> she did. She <sighs> said she'd make me a cloak. I want one. Well, speaking of new things, Uncharted 4 coming out in four Ooh. days, guys. Uh, if you have any speculation of what may happen in the final, quote-unquote, final chapter of Uncharted, you can leave your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, you might be wondering, Barrett, are you going to be doing an Uncharted 4 Let's Play or Playthrough or whatnot? Yes, but not next week. Next week, I'll be playing something else. I don't know what yet. But I want to actually play Uncharted 4 by myself and be able to like listen to things and actually get into plot and whatnot. Because the entire time we've been recording Uncharted 3, I fucking totally forget what's going on right now. So, yeah, not um, to the story at so all. I'd rather be able to experience that for the first time, actually how it's supposed to be experienced. And once I'm done, once I'm finally done, we'll do a Let's Play series for Uncharted 4. I'll figure out what we'll do. What we'll do in the meantime, but don't worry about it. We'll do, we'll be doing something next week, I'm sure. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us this week. Alyssa, thank you so much for coming on to the Welcome. show. Uh, it, was, it was fun talking to you about a bunch of weird shit. I'm glad we we decided to stop here because I remember this uh, this puzzle and I remember getting super frustrated at, um, at it for a very long time. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us. And until next time, have a great day full of all the Uncharted games, much like Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception and Uncharted 4 Atheist's End. Thank you. Bye.